Algae blooms are forcing the closure of shell fishing beds around New England, including most in Narragansett Bay. It's the first time harmful algae has forced a shell fishing closure in the state. Highway News reporter Madeline Wright has more now from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. The folks here at the Department of Environmental Management say there's no shell fishing allowed from the mouth of Narragansett Bay to Connecticut Point until further notice because of toxins in the water, putting several hundred fishermen temporarily out of work. So to speak, we have Jody King's been cohogging for decades. Now he has to put his harvest on hold because of the DEM's emergency shellfish closure Friday. We don't, as shell fishermen, want this to happen. The DEM blames poisonous algae. The agency detected elevated levels of the organism in every sample they took from Narragansett Bay in the last two weeks. We've never had this toxin in Rhode Island waters before, so this is something brand new. The algae has led to shellfish closures in other states like Massachusetts and Maine. Eating shellfish contaminated with the toxin can have serious effects. Vomiting, cause diarrhea, cause abdominal cramps, memory loss. So far, the DEM has only sampled the water. Results on shellfish meat are expected soon. As much as we don't want to put people out of work, the worst thing would be to not institute something and find out that we had this information, but we sat on it. Environmental police are now patrolling the bay to enforce the closure. We have encountered uh, shell fishermen that have been out that were unaware of the closure. They were asked to dump the product that they had. The shellfish closure only applies to bivalves like clams and oysters, not crabs or lobsters. The DEM isn't sure why the algae bloom is happening, but they don't believe it's caused by pollution. Health officials say if you suspect that you've eaten shellfish contaminated with this algae, there's no treatment for it. But if symptoms don't appear within 48 hours, you should be in the clear. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.